Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Center and welcome back to another shed project. So today, we're starting inside the shed, putting up shiplock. This is the back wall, so this is what you guys are gonna see for all wood and resin projects in the near future, is me against this wall with my nice workbench. And since we're painting the inside of the shed, I'm gonna shiplock, both shiplock with these shiplock panels. We're doing the shed the cheap and easy way since it is a work shed. So I'm gonna put four of them across the back with the nail gun. Um, and we're going to start with one in the middle center since that's what I'll be filming on. So I've got just a little rotary cutter. I'm gonna slice the fourth board down the middle. Do one board in the middle, two on either side, and then two little pieces on either side of that. And then eventually we will caulk the seat. So for now, we're gonna start by cutting this one in half because Got to have the gentleman at the store do that. The first step when you go to buy these is to measure your wall. We had to have about eight inches cut off the side, one panel, and about six inches cut off the top all the way across all four panels. Because even though these are four by eight panels and our wall is eight feet tall, that's not quite eight feet when it comes to actual inches. That's just how most buildings always go. So we're gonna start and then we'll show you how it looks all at the end. Now, the ship lock is up. It is not perfect by any means. The seams are way more noticeable than I thought they would be. And since there are not two by fours behind them where I can nail down those seams, I have nothing to anchor them to so that I can then caulk them. But they are just put on with brad nails um, and it looks 85 million times better than it did before. So while this is not a how to put up ship lap panels perfectly tutorial. It is a vast improvement over what it was, and it was a lot less expensive than if I were to buy boards to go across the studs in this wall and actually ship up the wall. In the future, I will probably go buy a few, one, two, three, four, two by fours, pop these edges up, put the two by fours into the wall, and then anchor these edges down correctly with the brad get nail gun the same way y'all saw us do that will be a fairly quick easy thing to do but it's not something i'm doing today we are actually painting the shed next and you can see a a preview around the edges because oh we're actually already done with it it has been a very long week but ship up is up i can i can already imagine getting my workbench in here, having the ship lap wall. I'm going to put my logo up and y'all are going to be seeing a lot more videos in this space. So the painting the shed video will be up shortly. And then right beside y'all is my three big boxes of pegboard. I'm putting hot pink pegboard, metal pegboards from wall control up on the wall over my workbench. And I have a whole like storage shelf that I'm going to be putting up on this side for all of my resin and woodworking supplies. It should be really good. That's only the beginnings of the shed. I have a whole mood board of what I want this to look like, and it's gonna be a while to get there, but ship laps up. That was step number one of like a 10 step process. So y'all, I'm just excited to be actually filming in the shed. I hope you are going to enjoy this series. It's gonna be a whole thing. I also have to figure out what to do with the floor. So, Leave me comments down below and let me know what you think of the wall. I think this was a really good solution. Each panel cost me $24. So about, let's say $100 with the panels and the brad nails, which I already had, but still it'd be about $100 to do this wall. The wood to do this wall would be way more expensive unless you had a pile of reclaimed or extra lumber that you weren't using for something, in which case, obviously do that. Um, but for a hundred bucks, I think this is a lot better than the other walls where we have just painted the studs. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.